Hi, everybody. Dan Oman here taking a look at race number six at Prairie Meadows on Friday. It is the signature day of the entire Prairie Meadows race meeting, Cornhusker Friday. We're going to take a look at the $250,000 Iowa Derby to kick off the 50 cent pick four. As you see, there are scratches in here. The number one proxy, the number eight snow house expected to withdraw. According to DRF's Marcus Hirsch, proxy suffered an injury. Snow house is expected to contest Monday's Dwyer in in New York. Still some quality horses in this race. The two super stock won this year's Arkansas Derby. Nova Rags was recently grade one placed in New York for trainer Bill Mott. You also have Gagetown who won the local prep the Prairie Mile for the high percentage Brad Cox Barn. We throw up the Timeform U.S. pace projector for this race and I agree with Timeform U.S. The four flash of mischief looks like the main speed. He set the pace last time out on the Prairie Mile and held very gamely in the stretch to just miss a net to Gage Town. Now, Flash of Mischief might have to deal with a six, right and just, in the early portion of this race. Right and just has won in gate to wire fashion in the past, but I think he'll sit just off Flash of Mischief. They're chasing fast fractions in the Texas Derby last time out. I think the five Stiletto Boy, the seven Gage Town, and of course the nine Nova Rags, they have the stalking and tactical ability to sit in the second flight, while the number two Superstock looks like a horse that would appreciate some hitting up front. Let's talk a little bit about Superstock the winner of the Arkansas Derby with a very competitive 92 buyer speed figure. Now, maybe the Arkansas Derby hasn't come back that strong just yet, but Superstock ran well that day, and he had an excuse in the Kentucky Derby. It was probably too much for him after pulling off that big upset at Oaklawn Park. And last time out in the Texas Derby, while he finished fourth, I think he had an excuse. The pace was good for him. It was very fast. He came with a run, but I don't think he quickened as well over that sloppy track as he does on fast going. Give this horse a fast track, and a solid pace, which is what he should get in the Iowa Derby, and he should give a good account. Unlikely to get the 7-2 on the morning line, however, because of these scratches, Superstock might wind up the favorite. The three is Bourbon Thunder. Let's go back to his race two starts back, winning at Keeneland at about seven furlongs. Only a 76 buyer speed figure for this race, but he showed some determination to get up in the shadow of the wire, and then he came back to finish third behind Snowhouse in an optional claiming race at Churchill going a one-turn mile. He's going to get an opportunity now to stretch out around two turns on dirt for the first time in his career. While his buyers are light, it's worth noting that trainer Ian Wilkes' horses often continue to improve with uh, several races under their belt and an additional distance. The four is Flash of Mischief, and again, Flash of Mischief expected to be the pace setter in this race. This horse has done very, very well since shipping in to Prairie Meadows. He won the Golden Circle sprinting two starts back with a 90 buyer speed figure, and they kind of backed that race up with an 88 in the Prairie Mile. Now he has to stretch his speed another 16th, and to me, that's a little bit of a concern. I want to see Flash of Mischief do it, but he could be on the lead at a solid price, and I won't argue with anyone that thinks this horse can take this field wire to wire. Stiletto Boy is the number five, and he looked good in his final two starts at Oaklawn Park over the winner, just missing in a maiden race with a career-best 87 buyer speed figure, and then scoring a maiden special with an 85. Now, he ran in the Prairie Mile, and he made a bid at Flash of Mischief and was rebuffed late, so he has to prove that he can handle this this sort of quality of competition. Can he really be a stakes horse at this point in his career? He's going to be a good price. Right and just is the number six. This horse might be a sleeper in this spot because of his tactical speed. He figures to be sitting off a flash of mischief and he should be right in the thick of things when the real racing begins around the three-eighths pole. Now he has raced in graded stakes company in the past and he has been found wanting, but last time out in the Texas Derby he finished ahead of Superstock despite contesting a fast pace. Maybe he moved up on a sloppy track, but it seems like he can run equally as fast from a buyer's standpoint on fast going. Perhaps this horse is another price potential uh, potential play, uh, considering the race flow. Gagetown is the number seven. Let's watch the local prep for the Iowa Derby. That's the Prairie Mile, back on June the 4th, and Gagetown's going to run down Flash of Mischief and just get up late. Gagetown earning a career-best 89 buyer. He received a very nice ride in this race. He dropped down to the inside, entering the far turn, split horses turning into the stretch, and wore down 
down flash of mischief. This is going to be the acid test, taking on two legitimate graded stakes horses in Super Stock and Nova Rags, but it looks like the Brad Cox trainee is coming into this race in good form. Nova Rags completes the field with the scratch of Snow House, and this horse is a stakes winner with Lasix. He hasn't won since that win with Lasix in the Pasco, and he's going to get Lasix again for the Iowa Derby. He has kept decent company uh, in races like the Florida Derby and in the Peter Pan, and he took on two of the best sprinters, three-year-old dirt sprinters in North America last time out in Drain the Clock and Jackie's Warrior. No match for those horses when third in the Woody Stevens, but he fits with this caliber of competition in the Iowa Derby. Ran well in the Peter Pan, two starts back, made a run at Promise Keeper, the Todd Pletcher train winner before flattening out in that one-turn mile and an eighth. I'm not sure what his best distance is. Is it seven-eighths? Is it a two-turn mile and a sixteenth? I think they're still trying to figure out what Nova Rags' whole card is, but he fits again from a class standpoint, certainly from a speed figure standpoint, and he's one of the horses to beat in this race. We'll take a look at my top picks. I do respect Nova Rags, the nine. I do respect Superstock, the two. I just think there's value a little bit elsewhere, and I think that the seven gauge town. We're not going to get the six to one on the morning line because of the scratches, but I still think he'll offer a good price, and I don't think he'll be too far off of the leaders, maybe getting the jump on a horse like Superstock turning into the stretch. It is a really nice Friday evening card at Prairie Meadows, and this race, the $250,000 Iowa Derby, kicks off a 50-cent pick four.